Man, at this point, what don't this guy expose about himself? The stuff that he has said and the stuff that this guy writes is legendary. Something that's never seen before in boxing. I ain't never seen a dude like this. I promise you, I haven't. I ain't never seen a dude like this. He has done and said things that's the first ever in boxing. He's th This is the dude that introduced across the street. We've never heard that in boxing until Errol Spence. Now, give and take this, this tweet right here. Technically, he's not talking about Terrence Budcroft. I see some of y'all say, hey, man, y'all reaching. He ain't talking about Terrence Budcroft. Yes, he's talking about Arthur. Okay, we know that. All right. But what you're not realizing is. He just exposed to you how he thinks. <gasps> yeah. So it doesn't matter if that tweet was aimed towards Arthur better be or not. He just lets you know how he thinks. It's only a matter of time. But the age starts showing in that ring. Let me ask you a very logical question. If he's thinking about this with Arthur. You think he ain't thinking about this with Terrence Bud Crawford, somebody who he has to fight for undisputed? You think he haven't thought about that? Of course he has, because if he's thinking about it with this guy, he's most definitely thinking about it with somebody that he's got to face. So he lets you know that that's on his mind, and we've already suspected that he's trying to age Terrence Bud Crawford out. We didn't need Errol Spence to tell us to know that. We've already have figured that out. The only thing Errol Spence did was confirm what we were all thinking. Even if he's talking about Arthur, there's no way that he's keeping that mindset just for Arthur and not applying it to Terrence Bud Crawford. It's almost virtually impossible. You know that's on his mind when it comes to Terrence Bud Crawford. So what you telling me is the reason why we ain't seeing this fight because Terrence Bud Crawford ain't aged enough. Because I know that's what you hoping to happen. This is why I said, if this fight don't happen this year, I don't want to see it at all. I want to see guys fight in their prime. See, this is what low-key, this is what boxing is not trying to give you. All right? Boxing is not trying to give you prime on prime fighter. All boxing is doing is building fictitious champions. For real. Listen, I don't want to see no more of these young guys beating up on old guys and because they got a name, oh, they did something special. I don't want to hear that. No. I want to see prime on prime. That's the difference between the era of the golden years and our era. Want to know why they had some of the best fights? It was prime on prime. What no aging nobody out. Prime on prime. That's why that stuff was so good. They're trying to get you a guy that's 25 versus a guy that's 38, 40. This is what boxing does. It didn't tell you how great they are because he beat this list. The dude is old. He's old. So that just let me know they had the same idea with Manny Pacquiao, but they realized they overshoot it a little bit. And Manny Pacquiao still got a little something left in the tank. So let's hurry up and swerve this dude. That's what that let me know. There's no way that he's just keeping that mindset, just thinking about Arthur and not applying it to Terrence Bud Crawford. This is why, although directly, he is not talking to Terrence Bud Crawford. Subliminally, he is. And he just lets you know how he thinks. Like, I don't even know why he even fixed his fingers to even tweet this, to even get this kind of criticism. Dog, oh, this is this is about just as worse as, why don't I go the easy route and fight Sean Porter? This is worse than that. Because it lets you know the mindset and how he thinks. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, dude. Errol Spence, I ain't seen, this is a new age coward stuff that I'm not even acclimated to being able to break down for y'all. I ain't seen nothing like this. This dude is a different species.
all together out here fake selling shirts people are across the street you're ducking you're fighting dudes out of your weight class because you don't want to lose a belt uh you claim you want undisputed but the weight is too much and this this that and the third you want somebody to take 30 percent and i ain't never this some new age duck i i i am not i am not even equipped to even deal with this for real i mean my parents always told me i was born in the wrong era They all they always told me that. So if you wonder why Bruce be flipping the script, that that's because I got a soul from the old era, man. Straight up. That's that's when I was supposed to be born. Shit, I should have been born in the 60s or the 70s. Something. Jesus Christ. This don't make no sense, man. Why would you expose that this is what that this it this is what be on your mind? So there's no way you can't direct that back to Terrence Bud Crawford. There's no way. There's no way. It's just a flat out shame at this point. Good God, this guy ain't got no shame. This is some new age coward stuff, man. New age, man. I don't even know how to break this down. I don't even know what to say. I'm being straight up with you. I don't care if this dude is on the street, he ducking. He in the ring, he ducking. And and, 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 and aid some, but he the truth though, right? He the truth. He the truth telling nothing but lies. But this got a truth to you. Don't get mad at me because I can hold a man to his word and you can't. With y'all simple asses. Jesus Christ. And you guys terraform this coward behavior for him. It's ridiculous, dog. Just the fact that he had the audacity to type this is out of this world. There ain't no way he didn't know what this was going to bring. There ain't no way. Errol Spence is laughing. Man, Errol Spence ain't serious about boxing. The, the kid got one foot in retirement, man. Straight up, dude. Straight up. There is no excuse for this, man. I, you know what? I ain't got nothing to say. I'm out.